Hi, it turned out that the Matek 1.2 GHz transmitter, video transmitter and the receiver are a very hot topic. So let's continue with this topic for a little, little more. And today let's do a power meter test to see how much of output power this thing's this thing puts out on the SMA connector and uh, well let's see if it really 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 works I cannot really put it to anything yet because a it's raining b it's a second day c it's dark outside and d I'm in Germany and this is not very legal in Germany I would have to wait for my trip to Poland but even then no then we will be able to do some kind of range test but for today we can definitely make a power meter test this is my El Chipo power meter uh, RF power meter it's maybe not the most accurate ever but with my previous um, with my previous experiments with different transmitter it actually turned out to be accurate enough because really we are not a laboratory and even if the accuracy is I don't know let's say around 10% it's still fine come on this is not a rocket science this is just an RC hobby and even if the output power is really like off by 10 even 20% nobody ever will ever notice so what I have I have the VTX 1G3 of Matek connected with the 40 dB uh, of the maybe let's zoom a little more with the 40 DB attenuators over here, the minus of the, this is 4S, not, not the 4S, 16 volts connected to minus to plus and let's power things thing up. 30. Can you see the value? Let me zoom in. I previously tested this thing so I know that it will output 30 and we are on channel 4 and even on, cha on channel 4 right now it output 30 dBms. This is equivalent of 1 watt on the output. So slightly more than they advertised somewhere over here saying that this is 28 but this is on the cold so let's say for the VTX to get a little warmer because always after getting warmer the power will go down and in the meantime let's take a look at the receiver I have the receiver over here I have my dock king and the LCD also here and let's see if it really 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 works let me zoom out so we know what's happening Okay, I have to find a battery, connect everything and uh, does it work? Um, ah, I have not, I did not power the docking. Now we should be getting some signal. Are we getting some signal? Yeah. Come on, look, we are getting some signal. So definitely the transmitter and the receiver is working. I, I'm here, I'm looking at the camera. So yeah, the, to be honest, even, but come on, this is very, very short range. So it just have to be working. And like I said, let's take a look. Maybe let's zoom in over here. It got slightly warmer. The output power went down to 29 dBms already, which is equivalent, oh, let's say 700, 800. Of course, this is not the max of the VTX. Let's check the temperature. 40 degrees after a few minutes. That's not bad. That's really, really 46 degrees, depending on when uh, this goes. This is really not bad. I'm, uh, I'm really nicely surprised about the, the temperature. It's not crazy hot. Um, if I would be honest, the 5.8 gigahertz transmitter are much, much, much less efficient and produces much more temperature and heat. Okay, now it's starting to get 
really hot 48 50 degrees and that 50 degrees it still outputs 29 dBm so really it's more than they advertised if I will try to switch channels let me switch channel to the lowest possible frequency of 1080 and let me adjust also the output values it's still 28.8 so even at the lowest frequency it's keeping the value 29.6 let's set the highest possible frequency over here which is 1340 and let's see about the output power in uh, yeah 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 the buttons on this thing are really a nightmare oh that's nice 30 dbms still so it varies between frequencies but still it's more than it's advertised of those 28 milliwatts which really is a very 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 good sign it's really hard to say anything about the quality of the image because come on this is this is like come on the, the transmitter is touching the receiver almost but it works um yeah i really cannot wait to put this on one of the, my airplanes i still have this digital sky droid t12 system to to install somewhere so i'm um, not sure when i will be able to do it but yeah mm -hmm. more power than they advertise it really works it's not that power hungry because right now with camera it's using only uh, three watts of power if i disconnect the camera yeah what will happen if i will disconnect the camera with camera disconnected it's still only two watts so it's really 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 nice i really have to say that probably matek you hit the jackpot with this thing come on we really needed something like that kudos kudos for you okay that's all for today until the next one bye